Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. Today we're going to learn Silent Night. Maybe you know Lady. It's a very famous song. I rearranged the song in an easy way so that you can play it within a short time. Because Christmas is coming soon and if you want to play it before the Christmas, it has to be easy. So today is kind of special. I wrote it very simple and easy so we can have fun. Now let's see how it goes. First, if you look at the score, you can find the rhythm is very repetitive. There's many dotted quarter note right after the eighth note and quarter note comes back again. So it seems really confusing, but it's not. If you know the rhythm, how it goes, then it just repeats back the same thing over and over again. Now first, let's figure it out, the rhythm. It starts with the quarter note, that is quarter note actually, on C, and then after that is A note. So whenever you see this dotted quarter note and after that A note, it goes one, two. So you will play it right after two, not on two. If it's on two, that's quarter note. One, two, one, two, that's quarter note. But since it's dotted quarter note and eighth note is comes after, the easiest way to count is one, two. You play it right after two. Got it? So the rhythm is actually one, two, three, one, two, three. That's it. Very simple. But if just you're looking at the score, it seems confusing. Now let's try one more time. The same thing. One, ready, go. One, two, three. So eighth note comes right after two. One, two, three. One, two, three. The same thing repeats back again. You play one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. That's the first line, whole entire thing. And the same measures comes back again. A couple more. Okay? Let's see how it goes. One. Two, three, one, two, three, and again, one, two, three, one, two, three. And after that, right hand is G and left hand is B flat. So it goes up like this, one, two, three, and skip down, right hand and left hand is G, one, two, three, B flat again, and right hand F. Left hand stepping down to A. One, two. Repeat. And right hand is C and left hand skip down to F. One, two, three. After that, right hand step up, left hand B flat. One, two, three. Here is the rhythm, the same rhythm again. That is the quarter note after that eighth note and quarter note again. So, one, two. Right after two, one more time. One, two, three. That's it. And then next to measure is the same rhythm again, but a different note. Start with the C, D, C. So one, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. So rhythm is pretty simple. Now if you move it on to the next one, repeating this exactly the same thing one more time. See? So one. Two, three, the same way. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you see it? One, two, one, two. You play it right after two. If you remember this rhythm, then it will be really easy. Now let's keep moving. This part is one of the confusing part. Now because you have to shift your hand to the different position. Left hand is B and C, but it looks really confusing. There is a flat, but you don't know where they put it. Actually, the flat is on B, so the left hand, B flat and C, that's what this one is. The right hand is G to count, but right after that you have the same G, 
but you have to shift it to finger number three so that you can go up to B flat. See it? So one, two, three, one, two, three, like this. So here you have shifting hand to the different position and also right after that you have the rhythm combination again. One, two, three, one, two, three, and right hand step up, left hand comes down to A. One, two, three, and then move it up. One, two, three, and right hand F, left hand C, A. Here is the same rhythm again. One, two, three, one, two, three, right hand. A and F. One, two, three. That's it. So in this song, you have to remember two things. First, the rhythm. Da di the quarter note after the eighth note and quarter note. It goes one, two, one, two. So your eighth note comes right after two, not on two, but right after two. And then the second thing, shifting your hands to. So shifting fingering within the same note and preparing for the next note. So if you remember these two things, this song is pretty easy. Now let's go a little fast. The time signature is 3-4, so it goes 1-2-3. And this song is cradle song, so it's not fast. It's just like silent night and quiet. It goes really soft, just like snow is falling on the night time so think about it it's not fast nor is not loud so it has to be quiet and gentle ready one ready go C, two three one two three one two three one two three But try not to play it way too fast. Rather, slow is better. So far, we learned four Christmas songs. You don't have to play it all these four songs. If you have time and if you can play it, yes, it's better. But if not, that's okay. Just pick one or two, whichever you like, and practice the song. And also, I put it this one as easy as possible so that you can have fun and then you don't get too much stress. To learn the song since it's christmas time enjoy it the christmas and your christmas music and have fun i hope you have a wonderful time with this christmas song and we'll see you next time bye